And welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. And on this econ podcast, uh, we're actually going to have you do a practice problem with marginal benefits and marginal costs. And three questions that you're going to try to answer on this one. Uh, first one is you're going to calculate the marginal benefits and marginal costs. And finally, the net happiness. Number two, you will graph the marginal benefits and marginal costs. And then finally, number three is you're going to say how many, you're going to answer, this is the ultimate question. How many candy bars will this person consume? That, that's ultimately what we want to do is ask that, answer that question. How many candy bars will this person consume? Assuming that they are what? Assuming that they are uh, utility maximizers. Assuming that they want to maximize utility, how many candy bars uh, will they purchase? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. I'm going to ask you to pause the video and do this first question. Calculate the marginal benefits, marginal costs, and that happiness, and then uh, play, hit play, and I will do those calculations for you, and you can make sure that you did it correctly. Okay, so pause me and we'll be right back. Okay, so hopefully you've uh, calculated these correctly. Let's take a look and see if you did. Marginal benefits, marginal cost. So candy bar number one, what's my marginal benefit? Well, remember that the marginal benefit is equal to the change in the total benefit. So, and remember also the marginal cost is equal to the change in the total cost. So, candy bar number one. If I, if I bought zero candy bars, I would get zero benefits. Okay? But if I buy one candy bar, now I get 10 benefits. So, what was the change in the total benefits? Change in total benefits was 10. So, the marginal benefits of the first candy bar was $10. Coke, uh, sorry, candy bar number two. Now, my benef total benefits, when I bought one candy bar, my total benefits were $10. Now... After buying two candy bars, my total benefits are $18. So the change in the total benefit was $8. So that's my marginal benefit. That second candy bar added $8 of happiness. All right, how about candy bar number three? Candy bar number three, we went from $18 of happiness with two candy bars to $24 of happiness. So that was six additional dollars of happiness, so that's my marginal benefit. And then for Coke number four, we go from 24 to 28, so the marginal benefit would be four. Those are my marginal benefits. I just did that by calculating the change in the total benefit. Same thing for the marginal cost. First Coke, if I, if I, I was, sorry, I keep saying Cokes, candy bars. The, if, if I bought zero candy bars, there would be no cost. So the first candy bar, the total cost is $2. Okay, that means the marginal cost was $2. And in fact, for the first unit, the marginal benefits and marginal costs will be the same as the total benefits and the total costs. Okay, so the mar for unit number one, marginal benefits, total benefits will be equal. For, did I say Coke again? Sorry, candy bar number one. For candy bar number one, the marginal cost will equal the total cost. That will always be the case. Okay, candy bar number two. Well, now the total cost went to $6. Change in the total cost was $4. That's my marginal cost. How about candy bar number three? Candy bar number three. Change in the total cost was 6 We went from $6 to $12 a cost. So the marginal cost would be 6 and then finally, candy bar number four, the last one, we go from 12 to 20 total cost. So the marginal cost was $8. That fourth candy bar by itself added $8 to the cost. That's the margin. Now, something odd's happening here because in the previous video that we did, the marginal cost was always the same. It was always one, okay? That's usually not how the real world works. The real world, the marginal costs are usually rising with additional units of consumption. 
We will explain that on a later video. For now, you just have to be able to calculate that marginal cost. Last step, calculate the net benefits. Net, or sorry, net happiness. The net happiness is the total benefits minus the total cost. So for the first unit, for the first candy bar, it would be $8. Candy bar number two, total benefits minus the total cost. 18 minus 6, it would be 12. Candy bar number three, 24 minus 12 is 12. And finally, for candy bar number four, 28 minus 20 is 8. So that would be your net happiness. So now you want to pause me again and go to the second step, which is to graph your marginal benefits and marginal costs. So pause the video, come down here, graph it, and then hit play, and I'll come back and we'll do it together. Okay, so let's see if you graphed correctly. Marginal benefits and marginal costs. Let's start with the marginal benefits. How do I graph that? Well, candy bars on the horizontal axis. Marginal benefits, marginal costs on the vertical axis. Candy bar number one had a marginal benefit of $10. So, there it is, graph it. Candy bar number two had a marginal benefit of $8. So, graph it. Candy bar number three, marginal benefit was $6. So, I graph it. Candy bar number four, marginal benefit was $4. Graph it. Connect the dots. There's my marginal benefit curve. Now graph the marginal costs. Candy bar number one, marginal cost was $2. Graph it. Candy bar number two, marginal cost was $4. So I graph it. Candy bar number three, marginal cost was $6. Candy bar number three, marginal cost $6. And then finally, candy bar number four, marginal cost was $8. And so I graph that. Connect the dots. Marginal cost. Sorry. There's my marginal cost curve. Now, you want to pause me one more time? And answer the question, how many candy bars will this person consume? Okay, and, and then ultimately, you want to be able to tell me why. How do, you, how do you ultimately defend that answer? How many candy bars will this, will this person buy? So pause me and uh, answer that question, and then hit play, and I'll, I'll come back and give my explanation. Okay, so... Let's see if you were able to identify how many candy bars this person would buy, given the marginal benefits and marginal costs that we calculated. Well, first of all, just remember our rule. Our rule says that you will engage in behavior up to the point where the marginal benefits equal the marginal cost. And that happens at three candy bars. So my answer would be three candy bars because the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. But let's just back up and let's look at the details of that. Candy bar number one, would I buy it? Yes, why? Because the marginal benefits are greater than the marginal cost. So I do it. How about candy bar number two? Would I buy it? Yeah, because the marginal benefits, the additional benefits I get from candy bar number two are greater than the cost I have to pay. So the marginal benefits greater than the marginal cost, I do it. Candy bar number three, ah, there it is. There's my point of utility maximization because the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. I'm indifferent. That's where I stop. Candy bar number four, what? Marginal costs are greater than the marginal benefits, so I do not buy candy bar number four. So my answer, my ultimate answer is three. That's, that's the answer to the question. How many candy bars? Three. Why? Because the answer is this person would buy three candy bars and then why would they buy three candy bars because they are they want to maximize utility utility maximization is what they're going for 
And how do you maximize utility? You engage into the behavior up to the point that the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. And, and why is that? Because remember, what utility maximization really means is net happiness. Utility maximization is really net happiness. So if you always go to the point where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost, that happens here at three. If you always go to the point where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost, right here, marginal benefits, right here, marginal cost, that will always maximize your net happiness. And the net happiness really is maximizing utility. So that's, that's how you would do the problem. Notice that it was three candy bars. On the previous video, our answer was also three. Uh, don't be confused by that. That's, that's just the way it turned out. So we'll do some, we'll do some problems where, where it's not three. Okay, that was, that was just by chance. Also notice that going from two to three, the net happiness stayed the same. Okay, but if we always follow the rule, engage in the behavior up to the point where marginal benefit equals marginal cost, it will always maximize utility, even if it was also maximized at two. And you might want to say this. You might want to say, well, Hagen, I would want to stop at two because it gives me the same net happiness, but I... I had to, I would pay less if I only bought two. My, my cost would be lower. Well, that's true. Your cost would be lower at two, but your benefits would also be lower at two. So I can't say two's better than three because it costs less, okay? I just have to look at the net happiness. I, I am literally indifferent about number three. Three gives me more cost, $6 more cost, but also gives me $6 of more benefits. So what do we do? We just follow the rule. Marginal benefit equals marginal cost. Engage in the behavior up until they are equal. Okay? Hope you did well on that practice problem. This has been another Econ Podcast with Mr. Hagen. We'll see you on the next podcast.